Welcome everyone, hope you're well today. So it's about time I did another news review, so here we are. On the 24th of March 2021. So let's get into this. So, let's start here, okay? So, um, our traitor Prime Minister hails the nation's courage and says that he'll be dealing with the fallout of CV for as long as I live. Oh, you're such a saviour. You're going to live with the burden of it for the rest of your life. Oh, you are such a warrior. Wow. Make him a knight. I mean, how is Sir Keir Starmer a knight, but yet Boris Johnson, the saviour of the world, isn't one? Ah, oh, dear. Anyway, so the idiot Prime Minister says, The nation had at times been fighting in the dark against a callous enemy, but science has helped us to turn the lights on and to gain the upper hand. <laughs> Mr Johnson added that after a year that has seen three lockdowns and restrictions affecting numerous elements of everyday life, the UK was cautiously but irreversibly step by step, jab by jab, on the way to reclaiming our freedoms. Right. We've all... <laughs> I've always been free because I do, I do what I want to do and what I want to do is the right thing. And unfortunately the laws and guidelines and rules that the government's put in are not the right thing. Those rules and regulations are there for corporations and companies to extract as much money out of us as possible and make sure there's a massive gap between rich and poor and and they try to destroy the middle class but anyway so people have been asking me to talk about the bristol protest now i i wanted to but what you've got to remember is my expertise is london right because i've researched it for years now so i know all the all the fakes i know all the fake journalists i know all the fake protesters who were just on the covers yeah um so i know all them but i'm not too sure about bristol so that takes more um for me to get into it right so what's saying here is police release pictures of 10 suspects after the disorder following the kill the bill protest now kill the bill is a ridiculous name okay because you know, they're going to say it's because they're trying to get rid of a certain bill. But in England, the bill, the old bill, is another name for the police. So basically what you got there is something that could be misconstrued as kill the police protest. All right. Now, it's, it's intentional. It's not it's not a coincidence. All right. So anyway, they're asking people to, to tell them who these people are. Now, you see the one on the top top line on the right. We're going to see him later. OK. Uh, and you know that um, alleged shooting that happened, I think, in Colorado, right? They, the names of those who passed were read out at a news conference yesterday. Now, some of them have got quite, I don't know, just look at the names, right? Denny Strong, Ricky Olds, Suzanne Fountain, and Jody Waters. So, Strong, Olds... Fountain waters. I don't know. Just something that stood out to me. I haven't looked into this much, but already I've had some subscribers telling me that it looks dodgy, right? So here's that guy. You remember the one I said to look out for? There he is. Lying on the floor <laughs> with a cardboard protest sign, right? So that's that guy that they were looking for, right? You see him there? One, two, three, four, five at the top. I believe that to be him there. Okay. Police in Bristol feel under siege after second night of unrest. So there was some other events going on in Bristol yesterday. And who would know it, but Bristol's finest tyrant funder was there as well. It's funny how it's all going off in Bristol. His, um... <laughs> His neck of the woods. Tyrant Funder, the one who defends Grey Bleeder. Anyone who watches my videos and looks at Grey Bleeder and thinks that that guy is one of us, <laughs> they, they wouldn't be on this channel. So the fact that Tyrant Funder and Suspect Cassess still film that guy and don't... 
<laughs> don't out him tells you everything that you need to know, doesn't it? Same for Resistance GB. So they had to get public order officers from Maven and Somerset, British Transport Police, Devon and Cornwall, Dorset, Gloucestershire, Gwent, Wiltshire, blah, blah, blah. Um, and they were deployed to disperse protesters at 10 p.m. They had specialist police dog units, horses, the National Police Air Service and a police drone unit were also involved. So you see what all the sort of manpower they're trying to commit to this. And at the same time, you've got all this defund the police going on as well. Now, defund the police goes very well with these two stories. The story of um, Sarah Everard, because obviously the person who's suspected of doing whatever to her is a police. And then you've got this case, which I made a video about a few months ago, where a police officer, um, you know, they, they film this police officer getting arrested, put in a van, and it just looks so staged. But basically what you've got is you've got two stories where the policeman is the enemy and he's like, murdered a female basically right so do you see how defund the police works perfectly in tandem with these two stories and isn't it funny that they've timed the court um the trial for this policeman here right at the same time <laughs> as the sarah everett thing and at the same time as they're putting defund the police signs in bristol okay think about that guys now this is interesting to me. Daily Mail, and they say, do you know any of the Bristol rioters? Email us. Um, are you going to ask the same thing about the London riots or the London protests? Because I know loads of them. I know loads of them. Do you want to know who they are? And then we could have the Daily Mail trying to stop Grey Bleeder and Tapman and Piers Corbyn and Tyrant Funder and Subset Access and Resistance GB, etc. So, yeah, Daily Mail, if you listen to this and you want to know who these um, fake protesters are in London who were chasing the TSG out of the park, <laughs> let me know because I'm your man. This channel has got a wealth of information for you, Daily Mail, if you really want to know about the ins and outs of it all. And there's like a picture of what they so-called did to the police station in Bristol, right? And th there they are facing off against the the mob. Now, any time a police station gets attacked, you have to question whether it was allowed to happen for the simple fact that a police station should be one of the most secure places that you can have, all right? So the fact that it gets attacked and whatever is a red flag to me, guys. Yeah? Right, so that was just a very quick one because... Really, there isn't too much news at the moment. It's all about they're looking back at how they responded to CV-19 because it's been the anniversary. Do you know what I mean? Um, and here's an interesting one, guys. You remember the Million Man March? Million Mask? The Million Mask March? Well, I didn't know, but Handlebar Moustache Guy was there. And look how he's got his hood up and, you know, he's uh, sort of... A bit incognito, but yeah, he was there. And then just um, a little promotion for my last couple of videos where I'm showing you that this so-called policewoman is being used over and over. All they do is change her appearance slightly, as you can see there. Ever so slightly, just to throw people off. Uh, but the fact is, she's been used very many times. And in fact, the times that she's used are for very photo opportunity, very opportunistic for photo opportunities. Yeah, if you see what I mean. So when she arrests so-called arrest guy with a Union Jack hat, uh, when she is there, when Cricket Man so-called gets arrested, etc., etc. And then this one that the Daily Mail reported on of this guy getting arrested at um, on Saturday, 20th of March, anti-lockdown protest. Well, I found him somewhere else three months before that, wearing exactly the same clothes. Like one, two, three items of clothing, exactly the same. It's the same guy and he's basically just an actor. And the one on the right is three months ago. 
and they were just putting him in the in people's eye so that when it did come for him to get arrested some people will remember him and think oh yeah he's one of us i saw him at this i saw him at that yeah so it's it's very intentional what they do but unfortunately they don't realize i am eagle eye overkill and i see all these things all right anyway that was a news review okay um, I got some more videos coming about all the actors at the London protest and uh, lots more to come and hopefully a live panel very soon. So that should be good. All right. But for now, unite the people to fight the evil. No new normal. Knowledge is power. Where there is darkness, we shine our light the brightest. Take care of you and take care of yourselves. Peace for now.